The Simpsons paradox is one of the many ways statistics can be misleading if you don't look at the full story behind them. It's a pretty egregious way too, because if you look at the data as a whole, it will tell you one thing. But when you separate the data into groups, it tells you exactly the opposite thing. A good example was in a 1986 study that compared how effective two different types of treatments were for kidney stones. The first kind of treatment was what's called closed surgery, or a percutaneous nephrolithotomy. They make a small incision and poke a little camera in there called the laparoscope, and then they break up and pull out the stones with the laparoscope, like with the tube. And the other type was just open surgery with one large incision. While looking at this table here, 350 people were given each type of surgery. And 289 of the people treated with the closed laparoscopic surgery had good results. But only 273 of the people who had the open surgery had good results. So it seems like a no-brainer. More people had better results with the closed camera type surgery than the open surgery. So you ought to get the closed camera type surgery if you're considering between the two. But let's make it a brainer anyway, because there's a lurking variable in there that fucks it all up. And that lurking variable is stone size. If you have a kidney full of stones with multiple stones, or your single stone is larger than 2 centimeters, then you're in the large stones category. And single stones under 2 centimeters are considered small stones. Check it out, it turns out that open surgery is better at treating both small and large stones. So both surgeries were better at treating small stones than larger stones. But about two-thirds of the people who got the closed camera insertion surgery had small stones. But about two-thirds of the people who had open surgery had large stones. But even though closed surgery had a better batten average, open surgery worked better for each type of pitch. And speaking of batten averages, let's compare Derek Jeter and David Justice's 1995 and 1996 batten averages. Mr. Jeter had a better combined average over those two years. But Mr. Justice had a better average in each of those two years. And if you look for it, the Simpsons paradox comes up all over the place.